Almighty Twitter poll god, I beseech you, grant me the topic for my next video. May it grant me success, power, and wisdom! There she is. Wait, really? So I guess you guys wanted to hear about something besides my vacation, and I can't say I blame you too much, because my last video was... kind of a vacation video? I mean, barely. It was really only a small portion, but whatever, that bit stay on, I'm here to give you something fresh. Something beautiful. Something like summer. And why it sucks! What? Do I look like the kind of person who would actually enjoy summer? There's a reason I spent most of my adult life indoors, and it ain't just to avoid social interaction, I promise. But PJ, what is it about summers they hate so much? Summer is full of sunshine and white clouds and bright skies. Isn't that something worth embracing? Take that wee crap out of my pillow for before I slap the color out of you. But... I hate summer for all the reasons people typically hate summer. The number one reason being the heat. No, not even heat. More specifically, the humidity. Listen, I know I can't complain about this too much. It's not like I live all the way in Arizona where people can literally hear their foot sizzle the second they step outside with no shoes on, but heat can be avoided. If you don't feel like turning into bacon when you step out under the sun's rays, then all you have to do is find some solid shade. You'll still feel hot, but it won't be as bad as when you were standing out in the open. But humidity? There is no tree big enough to protect you from humidity. Unless you take cover someplace nearby with some bomb air conditioning, something my house does not have by the way, you will never escape. Not even full-on nudity is enough for one to face off against this mighty foe. SEXY NO JUTSU! <laughs> Which is what ticks me off the most, I guess. In winter, if you want to get warm, you just need layers. But in summer, you could be wearing next to nothing, and your skin is still gonna feel like Satan himself is breathing hot air all over your everything, drenching you in his devil spit. Now, if I had to think of something I hate aside from heat, it would probably be the appearance of pests. You know, like, uh, mice, giant cockroaches. Neighbors. Whenever summertime comes around, all the pests that have previously gone south for the winter like to make a grand return and invade every inch of our house. And make no mistake, I don't wish death on the mice and roaches of the world. I actually like holding mice, and roaches aren't something I'll pay much attention to if I happen upon one outside of my house. The key words being, outside of my house. If a roach crosses the threshold of my front door and finds their way into our clothes, our food, or anything else that we need to survive, my only message to them is be prepared. I mean, I guess there are bugs outside my house that I hate in the summer. Like mosquitoes, or uh, whatever insect made a chew toy out of my ankles! I never would have thought itchy ankles to be a form of torture, guys, but seriously, I have ten different bites on both ankles and I want to cry. Screw bugs! What about your neighbors? Oh, don't even get me started. Summer is already bad enough when I'm drowning in my own sweat, covered in bugs. Now you want to put these loud, obnoxious butt munches next door? All these guys ever want to do in summer is, you know, get high and drink and jam to some music and you know what? Okay, I get it, alright? Okay, I'm not penalizing them for having a good time. But do they have to be so loud about it? You do not get to scream from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. at night when you have neighbors, nor do you get to kick up the volume to a point where I can actually feel the bass as I'm sitting at my computer. It's rude and makes a crappy experience crappier. I know my last video had a life lesson at the end of it, and I really want to strive to do more of that with every video I post, but this one... I'd say the only lesson one can take from this is to make the best out of a quote-unquote bad situation. Despite my hating summer, some of my best memories have been made during the season, and it really is the perfect time of year to spend alongside the people you care about. But I'm just saying, <laughs> despite any attempts to follow my own advice, sometimes I wish I could go up to my neighbors, knock on their door, and... Well... PJ, what are you... Wait, 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 PJ! You know, I was really freaking out because this video is supposed to be about summer, and summer is basically already over. There's only like, I don't even know how many more days left of it, and I was just spazzing to myself like, ah oh, man, you know, is this video even going to be relevant? And I realized, yes. 
Yes it is, because this is a video about why summer sucks. And what better time to make a video about why summer sucks than at the end of summer, when you can just flip summer off and be like, haha, you're basically over, now I don't gotta deal with all this crap that I ranted about. So you know, bye neighbors, bye bugs, bye suck, yeah. And I know a lot of you are going back to school and you don't want summer to be over, but um, I'm, I'm not going back to school and I, I don't have like college or high school, so um, <laughs> suck it losers. <laughs> but seriously, thanks everyone for watching the video. Thanks to all the peeps that I'm pretty sure you'll be seeing on the screen at, at some point. I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> they really helped a lot. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm tired. It's like 3, 38 a.m. when I'm recording this. <laughs> this. This is a horrible end card. I, I should just end it right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna end it right here. Thanks for watching the video again, guys. That's a wrap. This pajama party's over, but don't worry. We'll be back next time. Pillbug! Roast these back-to-school plebs! See ya, suckers!